This is number five. It says a vector has initial point three, negative seven, and terminal point negative two, four. Write the vector in component form, coordinate notation, and find the magnitude of the vector by using the distance formula. So very important that you're reading your directions and doing all parts. There are three answers required for number five. Writing the vector in component form, in con coordinate notation, and finding the magnitude. So first, let's look at component form. Remember, component form can only be written for a translation. We are going from the point 3, negative 7, that's our initial point, that's where we start, and we're ending on the terminal point at negative 2, 4. So if you kind of visualize those points on a coordinate plane, it might be helpful in coming up with the numbers for your component form. Remember, component form uses angle brackets. The first number is your left or right movement. The second number is your up and down movement. So if you picture that point 3, negative 7 is where you are starting, and the point negative 2, 4 is where you're ending up. The x coordinates are what tell you left or right in movement, and that movement is what goes in the first spot of our component form. So we're starting at a positive 3 on the x. We're ending at a negative 2. So we have to go to the left 5 units in order to do that movement. So left 5 makes this first number in component form a negative 5. So 3 to negative 2 on the x goes to the left 5 units. The next number is our up and down movement. So we're down here at this point. Our y is a negative 7, and we're going to a positive 4. So we're going to have to go up to go from negative 7 to positive 4. We go up 7 units to the x-axis and then another 4 units. So that's a total of 11 units up. So my second number is a positive 11. That's going from a y of negative 7 to a positive 4. The next thing we want to do is write it in coordinate notation, which is really easy after we've written it in component form. So coordinate notation, remember, always starts with a general point x, y. We always use an arrow showing that we're mapping all of the original points to new points, and we describe those new points with our translation showing what we're doing to our x and what we're doing to our y. So since we had to go left 5, that takes my x-coordinate and subtracts 5 from it. Since we had to move up 11, that takes my y-coordinate and adds 11 to it. So it's really just taking these numbers from your component form and putting them with the correct x and y to show that movement. We've done the component form, we've written it in coordinate notation, and now we need to find the magnitude. It specifically tells us to use the distance formula. So make sure you know the distance formula. Distance formula is your second x minus your first x squared plus the second y minus the first y squared, and then you take the square root of that total. So if you will label your first and second point, that just helps ensure that you put those coordinates into the formula correctly. So now to find our distance, we're going to take the square root of our second x, second x is negative 2, minus our first x, which is 3, and then square that, plus my second y, 4, minus my first y, which is negative 7. 4 minus negative 7 is the same thing as 4 plus 7. So when you subtract a negative, you can change that to addition. And then don't forget to square that. So we will do the um, simplification inside the parentheses first. Negative 2 minus 3 is a negative 5. So I have negative 5 squared plus 4 plus 7 is 11. So I have an 11 squared. These numbers should look very familiar. They're the same numbers in our component form, negative 5 and 11. 
Don't forget to square those. Notice I put the negative 5 in parentheses. Remember that should not be put into your calculator as negative 5 squared without parentheses, or else your calculator will tell you that's negative 25. You want the entire number, negative 5, to be squared. That's negative 5 times negative 5, which is a positive 25. When you square a number, you always get a positive result. Negative 5 squared is 25, plus 11 squared is 121. So now I add those two numbers. 25 plus 125, I mean 121, gives me a total of 146 under the radical. Remember, you always want to simplify your radical if you can. So I'll do my factor tree down here underneath um, number 6. So this is the way you guys have been simplifying them, so I'll stick with the, the factor tree method. So since it's an even number, I know I can separate it into 2 times, in this case, 73. 2 times 73 is 146. 2 is a prime number, and so is 73. So there is no simplifying of the square root of 146, but you always want to check. So we have done all three parts, component form, coordinate notation, don't forget the x, y, and the arrow part of the coordinate notation, and then we found the magnitude of the vector by using the distance formula.